channel oh my gosh i'm so excited to actually come and bring you this haul so i like other times when i kept things boxed i really really couldn't help it i've been waiting for these things since christmas day and when they arrived i was like i'm really gonna try them so some of the stuff i have tried some of the stuff is still boxed i'm lying i tried everything i tried everything guys i'm so sorry i tried everything but um but what oh yes but the plus side is that i can actually tell you whether or not a thing is worth it because i have already tested it so don't bite my head off for trying a thing out it actually helped because now when i review or when i recommend a product i can tell you right now on camera yes actually buy it or no don't buy it it's not worth it this was too hyped or whatever and such so if you are ready to silently judge me for all of the stuff that i bought stay tuned to the channel So guys, really quickly, I don't know, I don't know how to go about this. I don't know whether to go from the things that, that excite me the most to the things that excite me the least. Okay, maybe let's do least to most exciting. Let's do that. Let's do that. So the first few things that I purchased were these Stila, what do you even call them? Eh. Um, it says magnificent metals glitter and glow so I got dollish and I got bronzed ball now the reason why these two things I feel like were kind of like a dud for me is because of like appearance versus reality when you look at it you're like okay well there's a lot of glitter in it and it seems like it will be pigmented with the color the one thing that it is is it has a lot of color pigmentation but from a glitter perspective like even when you do do I'm just gonna swatch them for you even when you do do like um, a cut crease and you apply this in the cut crease it doesn't show the way like it shows in the bottle or in the container i don't want to seem disappointed but what i can say is if you've ever like wondered and thought about buying these because i know that people like hype them up a lot i would literally say like you can go without unless you do have the money and they are on sale because they were on sale for me if they aren't on sale for you then miguel it's okay let some things miss you because i mean look at it not blinding the glitter is okay and then you're gonna spend your hard-earned coin on this no no so i say it, it's cool to have um maybe i'll find a use for it in the future but for now i'm just like if you don't have it you can't go without it and, and also this one the dollish color it made my eyelids swell so i don't know if i have like an allergic reaction to the component of this one and not of bronzed bell because this one is dollish i don't know but um yeah i didn't have a fantastic experience with this what is the next thing okay huh tell me be honest be honest if you've never wanted to do that they were on sale and this is the reason why i bought them i bought the samantha um style which is number seven and this is a classic style and it's really really gorgeous but yo wow there's a, there's a lot of lash on the strip and i don't know if it'll suit me because i'm not really like a lash person but we will see i mean i was like once i have to not really like once in a lifetime but i was like they're on sale i'm gonna buy them so i got myself a pair of these i probably won't do any instagram tutorials but on the tube this is gonna be me when it comes to lash application time trust me i'm gonna do it don't drag me it's my channel <laughs> okay let's move on to the next thing oh do i regret this i'm not sure because i obviously haven't tried them but um if you can find lashes like this anywhere else i'd say buy them there's really there's really nothing to it it's just for me it's this if the aesthetics of this don't appeal to you and you don't want to do the things then don't buy this simple next thing that i got cover fx first of all i must say fantastic foundation fantastic coverage the background story of this company incredible i endorse i support i will be buying more products from cover fx in 2020 this is like my brand for the lifetime okay the reason why it's so low for me and not even like that low is just because i got the wrong shade i got n90 it's okay like it's a it's a workable shade but i would have probably gotten g100 because n90 is almost too pink for me even if it is a neutral shade so i don't know if it's going to be a better winter shade i'm definitely going to keep it i won't return it um but i'm probably going to get g100 because it is on special on cult beauty half the price usually costs 760 rand it's now going for 400 rand get yourself a bottle 
plug yourself and buy this foundation it is incredible i also have a tutorial coming up so subscribe if you haven't subscribed so you don't miss the tutorial and my wet taste of, not tutorial review and wet taste of this foundation so fantastic don't regret it we'll buy another bottle plug yourself what else can i put on next okay cool auntie laura don't mind this open box it was on special and what it is it was like a pack it was this powder puff that is sold separately for an exorbitant amount and guys i decided to get the translucent powder in medium deep for the rest of my face so i'm super excited to put this to use i haven't used it yet i don't know if it's light too light or too dark for my skin it's one of those things where you just you have to have it like even though it's aesthetics you know like the aesthetics of the transparent one next to this one and then the you get it you get it that's why i did it i did it i i can't even say i did it for the gram i actually i, I did kind of do it for the gram <laughs> i'm not gonna lie but i didn't play myself why it was on special it was on sale that's why i bought it full price steps you can forget it you'll imagine okay cool next thing that i got guys we're getting to the juicy stuff we're getting to the juicy stuff okay next thing that i bought i'll actually show them together Oh, let me put it in the box because when I do the big reveal, I want you guys to be shook. What is that other thing that I like? Oh, here it is. It's coming. It's coming. Next thing that I got, I plugged myself with two of the most popular eyeshadow palettes. Got myself my first Urban Decay Naked Cherry palette, and I got myself this limited edition Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy palette cool so let me open this for you to show you guys you know what guys i don't think let me look at my stuff um and think i don't have an expensive eyeshadow palette i think the most i've ever spent on an eyeshadow palette is around 300 rand and that is my morphe eyeshadow palette um and it's my mini palette as well so this is really these are literally like my first two like serious eyeshadow palettes and i'm really happy that I bought this one and the reason why I bought this instead of like the Urban Decay Naked 1, 2, 3 or however many they have is I looked at my skin tone and I looked at those shades and I was like, I don't want to be ashy. So I got this one because these are normally the colors that I wear anyway. So I felt like I was going to get more use out of the Naked Cherry palettes. And also the Naked Cherry palettes was a bit more affordable than the other Naked palettes. But this is the one that I got in the meantime and I absolutely, absolutely love it. It's got all 12 of these shades and I believe that they are so usable, especially for in the office. And guys, it comes with a freaking brush. I mean, hi, you can have my money, all of my money, all of the time, every day. There's nothing that I love more than buying a product and being happy that you spend the money that you spent. And that's how I feel about the products that I purchase. That's how I feel about everything that I buy though, because I do my research. But more especially these, I was really proud of myself because it's things that... I couldn't even like test in the country and I got them so and I like them so I'm very happy this one guys I literally had to have it it was sold out around Christmas time but I got it way before Christmas because I had my eye on it um was it on sale it was on sale on cult beauty but I got this from Sephora so I might have doyad on this one but I don't care it's a limited edition palette it's made out of tin like it's so cool and I think it's like a play on like the tin um what do you call it um like a baking tray and gingerbread cookies so i think it's really really cool and this is the extra spicy they've got a spicy palette i don't know if that one is limited edition as well but the extra spicy that i got is and it's got completely different um shades in the palette and these are all of the shades yo yeah because i mean it's just doing the things guys these are basically i don't want to show i don't want to show my setup but these are basically all of the different shades and how many shades does it have three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen different colors but also guys to be honest i'm going to tell you guys the truth the main reason why i bought this eyeshadow palette right here is because they said it smells like gingerbread cookies and i really wanted to smell for myself don't judge me but it smells it's true like it really does smell like cookies it's crazy so today in the office i was smelling like cookies only i could smell it but i don't care as long as i knew i was fine and another thing i love about this palette is it actually comes with like tutorials of it shows you like four different ways you can wear 
or use the colors and i love this because it actually uses a lot 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 of colors to show or to create the looks so you kind of do get a lot of wear out of your palette and i think that if you i don't know if all of the other two faced palettes have this if you have a two faced palette let us know if it does come with one of these because if you are like a beginner makeup person like i am in certain respects um i love the creativity that this gives you and the kind of like guidelines that it gives you to create looks and they actually turn out nice so i've only tried one but i just have confidence that they turn out all of them turn out nice so um yeah i absolutely love this and oh i think yeah these are one of my top purchases i absolutely love 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 the fact that i've got these because it actually showed me the reason why they cost the amount that they cost you know and the reason why you should or would want to invest in a more expensive palette as opposed to like a drugstore palette i can see the difference with application um and workmanship craftsmanship and packaging it really is worth it i, I i've fallen for the hype so guys i had to bring back the fenty train okay it never left as i mentioned on this channel we are still creating or we are still um what are we doing what are we doing what are we doing <laughs> we we are still collecting the collection so the fancy so the fancy ship will not sail on the channel it will always be there it will always feature this is the next thing that i got and i hope you guys can guess what i got it is a kilowatt highlighter it's a freestyle highlighter so can you guys guess which one i got before i even open it i hope you can this is a container you guys probably won't be able to see it but when i go bam everyone knows what the fuck trophy wife is i plugged myself you know i plugged myself nicely and you know when you thought i was blinding you with the other highlighter girl 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 you have no idea what is going on with your life <laughs> you see the other one it was um it was blinding but this one is so bright you can actually see the future of your decade of your 2020 of your decade on my nose if you look very closely you can see your future so this so the other one blinds you but this one it kind of reveals things that that are unknown to mankind that's how blinding and brightening this one is and i mean they say it's impractical for life but i bought it i'm gonna use it okay make sure that when you're around me you are just zazzed up you are wearing your shades <laughs> because you need the protection okay better run for cover so I got myself one of these. Absolutely love. Do not regret. Impractical. I don't care. But I wanted it. I got it. Uh, next things. Okay, 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 guys. Okay, I'm getting to it. Okay, don't rush me, okay? Okay, cool. So, I no, guys, I took it out of the packaging. I'm not putting it back. So, next thing. You guys know that I have a little obsession with foundation. So I just... I just had to do a little bit more shopping, okay? Okay, I needed to get this, so I got this. So I got myself this NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in Macau or Macau, however they say it. And girl, okay, when people say like NARS packaging is like their favorite, I know what the fuck they mean. Like, and I, you see, I'm a problem. I'm, I'm just, I'm a problematic consumer because I will buy a thing because number one, it smells nice, but number two, it looks nice. But let me tell you, <laughs> this foundation was very interesting for me. I'm wearing it today, so I'm just going to come a bit closer you guys can see. People have said that NARS foundation ha can be problematic when you don't use, shh, let me get comfortable, when you don't use a NARS primer. And I get that, right? And I did not use a NARS primer, and I must say I'm very happy with how it lasted throughout the day. 100% happy. I'm much here to review this foundation, but the one thing I must say is I was really shocked for two things. People normally say use one pump, don't use more, because when you use more, that's when it separates. I used one pump. I tried it out last night on my hand and guys the way this foundation spread i was like this is witchcraft i've never seen a foundation do this before because a lot of my foundations like my double wear like my all-nighter very very full coverage thick foundations and that's the consistency that i personally i like it because one pump and you cover your whole face you don't waste products and your products last for a long time right so you end up buying like one foundation every year year and a half some people two years and i get it because it's thick and it spreads this however it's thin and it spreads and it's medium to full coverage i was like this is some sort of fucking witchcraft but then again i just wanted to mention 
when I first put it on my face this morning, I was a little bit disappointed because I felt like it reminded me of my NYX foundation, which is medium coverage, but the whole transferability of it and how like you can leave your foundation everywhere. I didn't like the aspect because this literally, this is a very expensive foundation. Let's just start there. Now, if you're gonna transfer like you are some 200 Rand foundation, we have a problem, okay? But because I had read about all of the problems of the foundation, I came prepared, came prepared with the right primer, may not be NARS, but it's a freaking fantastic primer, came prepared with the right technique, and I set it, and I must say, stunning. It has been stunning today. Don't regret it, I'm buying another one. There's another one that I wanna buy. The one before this one, I wanna try that one out, because I think it's more matte than that. That's the only reason why I wanna try it, not for any other reason. And Macau's my Macau is my shade. I like it. I'm sure you guys can see it. I think it really, really blends well. And when we pair it with this bad boy, it works out even better. So yeah, guys, I went back to Too Faced. It's still from Sephora, right? And I got myself this multi-sculpting concealer. Like, I've been wanting this. First of all, hi, some people's foundations have this much product. Where have you ever seen a concealer that's got this much product? I was like, I'm getting it. This is foundation, this is concealer. Excuse me, this is gonna last you for a decade. I mean, when the decade is over, this is the only concealer you would have used, and guess what? You don't need another one, because this is freaking fantastic. First of all, it doesn't have full coverage, it's got super coverage. I'm pretty sure there's like levels to coverage, and super, super sees full. In, on this channel, that's what it does. That's what it basically means to me, because I was like, what does that even mean? But also for people who've got like dry under eyes like me because of another product that I absolutely love, addicted to, I will not give it up. I'd rather like use preventative measures so I can continue using it. I bought this concealer because it is hydrating and it's non-comedogenic because I had kind of acne prone skin or kind of texturized skin. I didn't want foundation or concealer that was gonna go under my skin or under my eye and dry it out further than it is already so that's basically the reason why i got this and i tried it on today and girl wow that's all i can say is wow so the primer that i got to use with this nice foundation if you guys don't know you should know by now Alyssa ashley is like my favorite youtuber and this she is the influence of this foundation because she absolutely loves it and i love it too now and this she basically plugged us on the channel this milk makeup hydro grip primer won the best primer of the year award i decided you know what i need to and another reason why i bought this primer is because it has hemp and cannabis extracts in it and i feel like hemp and cannabis are going to be the future of beauty and beauty products like collagen was for the last decade that's what hemp and cannabis are gonna be. And I really wanted to try the product out and see like whether or not it lives up to the hype. So if you don't have this, I would 100,000% recommend that you do get this. It really is an incredible primer. It's amazing, it goes on easily. Oh, by the way, this also, blendability and it going onto your skin is a breeze, a dream. Like literally glides onto the skin, just like this. The only thing about this is if you lose a lot, it does pull, meaning it forms these little things that you have to keep brushing off with your with your hands. But it only pulled on my eyelids because I applied too much and when it dried, there was no way for the product to go, so it pulled. So the rest of my face, I didn't have that issue. So what I would say is I recommend one pump. The box says um, one to two pumps, but you literally only need one. I need to have a huge face. Then maybe you need two, but I needed one and I would recommend one and don't put it on your eyelids because it will pull. Just put it on the surface of your skin. It will glide on. Leave it for a minute to get tacky and put your foundation on, girl. And if you've got NARS and you've had an issue with the NARS breaking apart and whatever separating, try Hydro Grip because I tried it and it worked. So, yeah. The last thing that I got, guys, you guys know that I love Auntie Laura. I mean, I've got two of her products now, her setting powders, but you're... But your kit's not 100% complete, guys, without Sasha. When I say Sasha on this channel, you better be saying Buttercup or where have you been? When I say Sasha, you say, you say, there we go. So I got myself the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I used it today. So I'm just going to take my glasses off so you can kind of see. Um, and I think you can see like the brightening effect under my eye from Sasha Buttercup. The only thing that I will say though, guys, if you are pairing... Where is now? Where's this concealer? If you're pairing this, this concealer, which is very thick, very creamy, very full coverage, you need to 
I don't want to say you, you need to bake, but you need to apply a bit more um, powder under your eye. And if you're wondering what baking is, good, good to you haven't watched my previous video, which means to kaban. So make sure you watch my previous video so you can see how to bake. In that video, I basically show you like a technique of how to use a thin layer of powder to bake. When it comes to this combo, I'm going to be baking maybe with a thin layer, but multiple times. So I'm going to pat it on and then you wait for it to set. Then you kind of brush it on to kind of remove the creasing or else it creases like crazy. So I had to set twice this morning, but I have no qualms. I have no issues because I was really enjoying my new products. I love the finished look and yeah, maybe I will bake with more product. I'll try that tomorrow morning to see if it makes a difference. But I love this combo and I love this and I love the highlighting elements of it. And also, I've seen in South Africa, it actually sells for 600. There's only one place I know that sells this. On Tasha Buttercup, or on Tasha Buttercup, on Tasha's website, this powder is literally 300 Rand, guys. Don't be a pop eye, hey? <laughs> Guys, these Insta stores, they mustn't take your money. Like, you know how they took my money for the, the what is it? For my gloss bomb, my fancy beauty gloss bomb. I paid 500 Rand for a product that costs 180 Rand. I don't know if it's desperation or a lack of resourcefulness from my end, a lack of creativity. I know these guys extort, I guess I was desperate to get it. I got it. I don't regret it because I really love it the lip gloss and i think it's incredible it is it is the way the truth and the life however i could have been a bit more resourceful with myself and my time and gotten it for cheaper um especially because fenty beauty does deliver to south africa i should have just used my mondo and avant-garde but it is what it is i have it now whatever you live and you learn and yolo and all that good stuff so guys you've reached the end of my video firstly well done for making it Thank you for making it. If you haven't subscribed, you know what? I think I'm just gonna start charging for my videos because I'm giving you such good content. And why would you not subscribe? Why would you not be a part of the family? Why would you not help me to get to a thousand subscribers so I can do giveaways? I have so many things in my mind and in my pocket and in my on my desk that I wanna give you guys, but because we just haven't reached the landmark or what do you call it, the milestone that you guys said I must wait for, I'm just sitting with these things like, someone would really love these. But someone is not helping us achieve the goal of subscribing. So please, don't be that person. Don't be a pop by. Subscribe. Put yourself on. Plug yourself. Because this is the space where I plug you. I help you. I empower you. I educate, inform you. And who doesn't want that in 2020? Join the winner circle. Hit that subscribe button. Share my channel with your friends. Let them get plugged. Let them get informed. Let them get knowledge. And have insights. And keep winning but also if you have any other questions comments around anything that i have reviewed not reviewed i have shown you guys today let me know other than that don't forget to like don't be greedy with your likes i don't get paid if you like my video don't even get paid if you watch at this stage so please at the moment it's a win for you and a lose for me so please at least like my video you know um but yeah guys i'm so sorry i'm rambling but yeah thank you so much for tuning in thank you for making it up until this point in the video you're a real mvp if you continue watching and until next time guys ciao for now